As you guys know, Team Affinity Season 4 is just around the corner. It's actually coming out on 9-10. So I want to make a little video for you guys to get prepared for it. That way we can get ahead of the game and we can get that Team Affinity 4 done really, really fast. I found a super useful tool. It, it's something that, that is absolutely amazing for these exchanges and for investing. It is absolutely amazing. And we're going to roll through it with you guys. Now, there are a couple different ways to get ready for all these exchanges. So there's a cost-effective way, and then we have a time-effective way. So we're going to go over both those for you guys to make sure, you know, whether whether you have a lot of stubs or you maybe you don't have that many, we're going to go over both ways to make sure you guys get those exchanges done right away. Okay, so the website we're going to be using, showzone.io, it is an amazing tool. I'm going to link it down below for you guys to make sure you guys can get right to it. And we got a couple of our friends right here. We got Ansel Armstrong and we got my man Light, Light Skin Chris as well. So you guys know we're in good hands that they're using this as well. So like I said, there's a ton of different things you can do within this website. But for right now, we're going to be focusing on exchanges. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. So for the exchanges, as you guys know, in Team Affinity 1, 2, and 3, you know, we have all these exchanges that can lead to all these stars that you can get and, you know, get all this Team Affinity stuff done really quick. For Team Affinity Season 3, the exchange points were actually 225,000. Uh, for Team Affinity 2, I think it was 300k. And then Team Affinity 1, I think it was like 200k or something like that. So, I mean, it's going to be within one of those. I assume it'll probably be towards the 225. So, I'm going to try to gauge it towards that. When you guys get this first pulled up right here, I know it looks a little overwhelming, but I'm going to walk you guys in through what we want to do. So, there are, like I said, there are some really different ways to do this. We're going to click on these filters. So, these filters, you can go over overall team division your best buy exchange value i mean there's a ton of stuff you can do right here we're gonna go over i think the 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 best way to do it we have our cost effective way and we have our time effective way as well so first off we're gonna start with our uh our, our cost effective way this is you know putting the least amount of stubs into it but you know also getting a good return so if we're taking a look at this we're not gonna do any overall right here and, and i'll tell you why in just a second we're gonna go ahead and filter by division so by division these are the ones that you will be exchanging for the team so go ahead and we'll put in the al west right here so we're gonna go ahead and click the uh apply filters so looking at our first right here it's kobe allard now he's a 73 overall which means he is a bronze so if we're looking at his best buy so his buy order right now that we can get will be at 30 so what we do is we put in a ton of orders at 31 and if you look at the quantity per 25k it would be 21 uh orders put in to get 25,000 exchange points now you know, that can take a while, especially if you're looking at all these guys. You know, you got Cole Urban at 72, that's 26. You have these commons that are at 131. I mean, you have to buy a ton of these cards. So it might be the most cost effective way, but I think time is money. And sitting there putting in borrowers all these times, and you can get outbidded as well. I mean, to me, it's just not the best way to do it. All right, so we're going to go back. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the division, uh, the filter right here. So we're going to look at two different ways to do this right here. So right now, I love looking at our silver card. So we go at our minimum overall of 75. We'll go to our max overall of 79 then. And again, we're going to go ahead and do it by division. We'll go AOS again. Go ahead and apply those filters. So now we're looking at this, right? We have Jake Fraley. He's a 78 overall. His best buy is at 135. We can go ahead and put in a buy order for 136. Uh, you only need seven of them to get 25,000. So like I'm saying, only need seven of them. Uh, the next one is Zach Ranky with nine and, and so on and so forth. I mean, they do get a little bit more down towards the end. But again, I mean, you're you're going to sit there for, what, 30 seconds putting these buyers when instead of the other ones, you might be in there for, you know, two or three minutes. And over time, you know, with all these exchanges, that will add up to be a lot of time just spending putting in buy orders. One thing to note as well is the roster update actually got moved back to 917. So this is really like a no risk investment because we're not gonna be losing out on any of these silvers. So again, looking at our silvers right here, I mean, you can go through all these. It's super easy. Go through every division if you want to. Like say we already did the AOS, we'll go back. We'll apply another filter we'll do. Uh, we'll do the AL Central. Again, same thing, looking at it, looking at all these. Casey Mize is a 77, he's a 108. Put him in for 109. Buy nine of them, get 25,000 uh, exchange points for that. And like I said, if it's gonna be somewhere between 200 and 300K, which I think it'll be, you know, about the 225, maybe 250, something like that. I mean, you're sitting there not for that long doing this. Now that's the way to do it if you're using silver cards. Now, if you have a lot of stubs and, and you know, you have some, you know, some stubs to, to blow right here, we're gonna go ahead and use these gold overalls right here. So we're gonna go with 80 and we'll go 80 to 84 right here. We'll change the filter again. We'll apply it. We'll take a look at it now. So if we're looking at golds, again, this isn't, you know, the best way to 
to probably do this because in the long run, you know, you're gonna be spending a little bit more stubs here, but it is pretty much a no risk investment as well. So if we're gonna take a look at Eric Pena, now Eric Pena, I think is this uh, prospect card that he has. Right now, his best buy is at 1,010. All you need is to buy two of them and you're already at 25K. I mean, that's that's insane. That's that's so quick, that's, that's, that's just like that. We have uh, all these other ones down here too that are at about 1,000. Uh, if you buy them for a thousand, you're not losing stubs. I mean, granted, you are going to put them into the exchanges, but say maybe you overpay on them or, or, or whatever, you know, you can always get your stubs back with that if you don't exchange them. And these prices are going to go way up. I, I promise you guys, these prices are going to go way up. So you want to do this right now because you could lose out on a ton of, a ton of stubs right here. And, and it's just a great way to get these exchanges done. Again, I would probably try to stick with the 84 to 82. I mean, you can do 81s. You just have to buy a couple more. It's not that big of a deal. But again, I think the 84 to 83 are really good. Make it super easy for and really quick. And just to show you guys, you know, the process again of how we can go through this when you're actually in the game. You can do this on the app as well. It would actually be really faster on the app if you do it that way. But just for the sake of things, we're going to go ahead and do it on the console. So again, we're in the marketplace. We're going to go ahead and filter it out. So if I do these... If I do these uh, um, these golds, we're gonna go ahead and make the max price around like 1,200 because we really don't wanna spend that, that much more than that. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. And we're gonna go with our minimum overall. We're gonna go ahead and put this at like an 82 because I think 82 is probably, 82 to 84 is probably the best way to do it if we're trying to you know get through it really quick and, and use our subs there. Go ahead and filter that out. Now, if we're looking at this, look at this. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 13 we have 13 cards right here that are almost in every different division as well you want to make sure you're putting these in, in different divisions but all of them are at the buy now price so if i go to harrison bader right we'll go here put in a thousand stub order boom and then you'll end up getting him i i bet within a very very quick uh sense right here it, it's just like it's a no-brainer for me to to do this i mean you you are going to lose out on subs in this in the sense of exchanges but these are all gonna go up. I promise you guys, these will go way up. And then if you overbuy them, just go ahead and sell them. Look at that, Harrison Bader already went through right there. And if we wanna filter it out even a little bit more, right? Maybe you wanna go to the 81. You know, we even have all these pages now full of all these cards that literally have a thousand. I mean, it's it's super easy, it's super quick, it's it's really efficient, especially when you have a lot of subs. Obviously, you guys can tell I have a good amount of subs, so this is probably the best way for me to do it. But again, if you guys wanna use the common way you can, it's just whatever is the best way for you. Hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of an insight in, in the best way to do this to actually get prepared for our Team Infinity 4. Again, like I said, these prices are going to skyrocket. So we want to do this right now. Go in there right now. Go and do this because these will go way up. And hopefully this just help you guys out. I mean, I'm trying to make these videos to help you guys out. So hopefully it does that for you guys. If it does, make sure you guys leave a like for me. Make sure you guys do subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.